Hey, DreamMace here. Welcome to the channel that is Everything Game Pass. Uh, today uh, is continuing through some more Weird West here. Uh, 14 of 53. Uh, we did not actually get any achievements on last episode, so we'll just jump into the game there and uh, keep going. Uh, we are uh, partway through the Pigman journey. Uh, if I were hazard to guess, about a third uh, of the way through the Pigman journey here, and uh, we'll continue on through it. Oh, we just got three rewards points. Look at that. All right, let's skip that. Why am I not getting any of my own? Oh. There we go. Just need to turn my power back on. <laughs> In order for something to work, usually it has to have power. All right. Uh, seven on some hydraulics. Wow, we. Uh, rubber skin would be kind of fun. Uh, melee is melee is really strong. For ten seconds, tax do an additional fifty percent damage. Damage bonus increases for a hundred percent. Oh, let's buy that one. Got all of his melee abilities. Oh, can't afford that one. Alright, we'll do the rifle one then. And perks. I have three of them. What's this one? 24% more hit points when using a bandage. Increased rate of fire during dodge leap. I haven't figured out how to even do dodge leap yet. Uh, Excel posse leader. Boost posse members damage output by uh, and maximum hit points by 15%. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I seem to be cruising around with a... Uh, can I even afford it? Okay, there we go. Uh, can we put another one? Oh, it's three... Make things cheaper, get some more gold. Jump higher. And take less fall damage. Uh, we'll put it into bandages there. Alright. Do a quick little save. And then we will continue on over to the uh, blast route. The third and last route here. Okay. third and final route for me is up over here but this guy actually needs to uh we need to meet at joe's hideaway so we're gonna go towards joe's hideaway and then we're gonna cross back and go over towards horsetail grotto there um so let's go to joe's hideaway here first it's a good little stop and then we might even actually hit the town on our way through Hit some Seagrass Flats or something, see if we can't sell. Maybe buy a horse, travel a little quicker. Enemies in the brush. Uh, you were ambushed by the Stillwaters. So that vendetta is finished. Oh, we're gonna have to bust down some weapons here. Don't need any of these. And these 
these are actually a downgrade. And you see it's knife less melee damage than the copper. But it's fast. Can be upgraded, blast me forge with seven silver nuggets. Uh, ten gold nuggets for those two. Yeah, if you didn't know the uh, if you look at the actual like let's say rifle here you look down at the bottom that it says uh it can be upgraded but with uh at the blacksmith's forge with 10 gold nuggets so you can look at each one of the pieces and see what it would need to be upgraded with uh, a shovel uh can actually be upgraded it doesn't actually show it here but uh reddit was saying an, a shovel can be upgraded with 20 or 25 gold pieces to be unbreakable uh and i probably assume that maybe that would happen with the pick as well but uh yeah, you can make your uh, shovels and stuff unbreakable. Which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, what other cool stuff did I uh, read about on Reddit there that I can tell you about? Uh, a lot of the uh, legendary equipment and stuff like that that uh, you're looking for uh, can be bought from vendors, uh, but it can also be stolen uh, from vendors. And... That's actually the way you can replace the vendor's inventory is you go in and steal it at night and like break it all down or just drop it on the ground. Uh, but that's how you can replenish a town's inventory is just go in and steal it. I'm just looking for some hidden gaches on the outside here and then we can uh, continue out of Joe's hideaway here. And uh, head over towards Horsetail Grotto. I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's go to Horsetail Grotto. Uh, Cedar Flats, then Horsetail Grotto. Cedar Flats, then Horsetail Grotto. Because uh, I'm. Me and my followers are all loaded down with stuff, so the more opportunity we have to get rid of some stuff, it would be better. And uh, I can show you something that I found out, oh, I don't know, probably like 10 episodes ago or something like that. But you don't actually need to run, oh, oh, wait, you don't like me here? Seriously? Like, what are you, you seriously? You let me come in here before. Maybe it was just grackle then. Alright, here, let's just, just kill me then. And, uh, we will travel again from the other area and we won't go to Cedar Flats because apparently at Cedar Flats they don't like me, but at Grackle they're perfectly fine with it. So uh, let's uh, load a save game and just continue on to where we were. We can always come back to Grackle afterwards uh, if we need to. So Cedar Flats is hostile. I had no idea. Okay. Uh, we do have cross rifles. They might take some stuff. Uh, what else we got up over here? Roaring Waters. Snake Spring. Could try Snake Spring. It's a long way. Let's let's do a try a Snake Spring thing. And we did visit the the highway oh maybe he's inside there somewhere there's something i didn't find which across same uh strange woman waits for you as if she knew you'd come i think this is the one that gave me that box hey oh help a witch out will you Hey passenger, I was hoping I'd run into you again. I have something you might be interested in. See, I found this talking book that contains the answer to the meaning of life and to all the mis uh, metaphysical questions that you could ever, other human being could ever have thought in the history of the world. I myself ran out of questions. I really care about the answers, frankly, but I figured myself home, uh, someone like you might find it useful. Uh, a mere 436 gold. Interested? I don't... I... Ask if you, you can deal? Sorry, that's my best price. Come on, you know you want it. I'll pass. 
Oh, really? That's too bad. Maybe next time. Well, if you're a light on coin, maybe I can offer you some entertainment instead. Nothing bites the cold uh, teeth of boredom after all, right? How about a bit of uh, foretelling? I've got this tarot deck I found at the bottom of a drawer. If you're up for it, I can give you a glimpse of what awaits down the treacherous path you venture on and compliment, uh, a complimentary too. Sure. Wonderful. Oh, hooray. Let me get these here. Quick shuffle. Manic shuffling. Okay, let's do this. Pick one of these three cards. Middle. Oh, you've drawn the fool. Wow, that's rude. Bad cards. Bad. I can't uh, take these silly things anywhere, I guess. Now, let's pick your second card. Just going to shuffle these again. Gleeful shuffling. Okay, which one will it be this time? Left. Oh. The pain collector. That's that old nasty wait you haven't been hanging out with the fighting pit with me without me have you hmm ready for the last one i will shuffle these again excited shuffle now choose we're gonna go middle again let's see judgment well that's um ominous <laughs> well uh you pulled some interesting uh shit pal to be honest though i thought i would i didn't know jack about tarot uh, you probably have a fascinating road ahead of you, or maybe not. Only time will tell. On a different topic, I saw you glass in my chest earlier. You're not, uh, too subtle, are you, Snicker? Uh, never let it be said that I'm not overflowing with generosity. Go on and take a look, and as usual, keep whatever you find inside. Uh, here's to hope, uh, hoping it's something good. Gold bar? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Bedroll. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Is it a bucket or something? Definitely likes their artwork, that's for sure. What do we got? Stewed snake. Eat that stewed snake. Snake meat. Yeah, my inventory's full. Okay. Alright, well, we gotta continue over to that town and hopefully it's not hostile. And we can sell. So, Snake Spring. Shabby shops and worn buildings say that this town has fallen on hard times. So, it's just a town in the middle of the forest. find out right away whether we can walk inside or not it's funny that they would let me walk into grackle but they won't let me go into uh cedar flats i mean i have bounties and everything so it doesn't feel hostile i'm not seeing anything red please don't eat me i want to uh, i, I, I want to hire you uh i sure hope you're here uh you're for hire, Traveler. I got an urgent here. One of my regulars is a kid uh, with bad fever. And an old plow nag uh, won't make me ride out there quick enough. Can you deliver these medical supplies for me? I can pay you 40. They're going to pay me uh, if you, you lend me a hand. Yeah, I can send them. Praise the flight spirits. I uh, got, uh, got folk deepening on this delivery. Now let's get out here. All right. Uh, head out to Gavin's Call as soon as you can. Browse the goods. So let's uh, get rid of these because they're good coin. And we're going to take all of these. Okay, and her inventory, she's got one of them. His inventory, he's got nothing. Okay. So we can sell there. We're just gonna do a quick selling operation here and then uh, cruise on over. So we have some, the bank there. Wonder if they would just have a different deposit box or if it would be the same. Hey, would you like to access your safe deposit box? Yeah. And put, uh, 
some of this gold and silver and copper and stuff away. How many gold do we have? We got one gold bar, five, six, seven. Nuggets, it's copper. Is copper ore just money or? We sold it to the bank or melted down to make copper nuggets. And copper nuggets will probably help me in no way except for taking up room. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten will help upgrade one of my one of these guys. Okay, so we're not quite there on the gold yet. But we'll uh, keep looking. And we got what across the way here. Uh, this is the one we need to go to. General store. There we go. Let's browse your goods and sell all that junk. And yeah, the trick I was saying is you can go here and... Uh, go into each one of these guys' inventory and uh, do all the stuff from one go. Uh, so we can probably get rid of your shovel. Let's see, you got a bunch of food. I think that would be good to hold on to. He's he can hold on to that stuff. What's this? Streamers, uh, slender spikes of brilliant violet flowers seem to hum with supernatural light. I'm not sure what they are, so I'm gonna hold on to them just until I know exactly what they are. Uh, so we have cleared out all of our junk there. Right on. And what do we got? Uh, saloon. We can hire more guys. We got a. Uh, Guy out here that might have something for sale. Take a look at uh, looking at uh, getting a new vest. Uh, there we go. So they really don't have anything great. They do have a lightning prayer resistance one. That's blue. It is better than what I have. Even that one's better. But I'm sure she has extras. Like, she, hers isn't even equipped. So let's get rid of her little simple one. And he's got nothing. Okay. So we should, uh... Grab those rifle rounds, grab those pistol slugs. Okay. And this is what, uh, forge. Copper stubs, double barrel. We can upgrade that one. That, uh, won't help me. Okay. And, uh, maybe they would have a gun shop in here? I don't know if they had a gun shop. Go down to this side. Maybe not. Take a look. Uh, no, it's Undertaker that way. So they'll let me go into these towns, but they won't let me go into Seer Flats. That is silly. That's uh, kind of backwards, if you ask me. I know you have to go in there for a quest, but, you know, if you're going to make all the towns hostile, make all the towns hostile. If you're going to make them all friendly, make them all friendly. Or it seems kind of weird to have just one out in the middle of nowhere that's doing nothing. Ah, oh, horse. Oh, no. We don't have any stable here that would actually sell any horses, would we? I'm just going to cruise through and just make one more sure one more time. Because uh, I definitely could use a horse. That's just clothing and stuff. Is this just somebody's house out here? Or like a schoolhouse or something? Hey, they saw a cross get away. Now what will we do? Okay. So 
so uh, that is good then. We can continue on our way over to Horsetail Grotto. We are like 20 minutes in already. Peddlers, elixirs, amulets, and darker things. Yeah, let's go in here. Uh, these guys can have some nice amulets and nice rings. And last time they had an epic amulet. So let's uh, see. I do have a little bit of cash. So let's see what we got here. Alice Cox. Hey there, old timer. Are you here to trade? Yeah, look at this. Impatient. Automatically reload equipped weapon on every kill. That's pretty crazy. It's only 171, though. I'm gonna take that. Like, a Nymph Relic is more than that. So, yeah, we're gonna take that from you. That's cool. We got a, uh... Really good amulet for this guy there now. Okay. So, like, I can fire, 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 and then when the person dies, it'll just automatically reload. That'll be cool. Okay. Seeing your horse tail grotto. Maybe we will actually get there on this episode. <laughs> 20, almost 22 minutes in. Jeez. Find and over buy vests, increase your protection, and reduce physical damage taken. Hey, continue. Alright. Okay. So we got Snow some. Swamp water and mud. Not far off, the telltale electric crackle of magic. Feels like an area they're gonna put a hidden cache and I can feel it. Let's keep an eye out. Did uh, clear the immediate vicinity, so enemies are probably good at toast. Climb up to the top. Temple Stell. Strange script. Unrecognizable words. Ancient runes. Looks like this one will take some work to decipher. Maybe an Oniris would know what it says. Okay. That sure looked like a hidden cache, eh? these three guys tree stump I can sit okay relic and somebody's carcass okay so we're gonna head on inside here just gonna do a save Inside, 
and hopefully we can clear this uh, relatively quickly before the end of the episode here and uh, get it all done. So let's head on inside. Climb into the natural cave entrance. Okay. Well deactivated or not, this mechanism is to turn uh, to turn it on. It's still there. Hope one of these mine crawlers doesn't uh, trip on it by mistake. You feel watched down here? Yeah, I kind of do too. All right. Couple of them taking off down that way. Just some rubble here. It is better to hit these places at night time. Just uh, and one more. Everybody's health is back full. Can a uh, canopic jar? Okay, so we got two pig men. Save. Just in case something unforeseen and bad is around the next corner. There we go. Did take out a couple of those outliers. These guys are full of goodies. Thought they were just little uh, statues, but they're just like little chests just full of everything. Oh, I can't sit on a big chair? That's not fair. They let me sit on a tree stump, but I can't sit on a big chair. You turn around there, Mr. Piggy. Well, he's a lot fatter than my character is. Mine's all lean and. He's all kinds of a fatty. Okay, so we do have a couple in that room. We can actually continue this way, even though it looks like it's a. Uh, Thing. So let's do this. We got one in here. He's gonna be alerted here soon. Certain like it's it's vicinity. break down what weapons I can just have two of them we'll uh, talk to her we can give her all my junk 
So just show equipment to give all the drunk and transfer all nine over. There you go. Okay. Take this guy. Someone gonna give me health back? Yeah, someone gonna give me health back. I have to cook something for everybody else to get their health back. Boy, this place is just huge. Oh, we actually got some wanderers over here. These guys are a little easier than those pigmen. Got one wandering that way. We're gonna go take out this one here. Facing the wall, we might be better going around this way. This is where the roots are that need to be burned. And this is an imp relic just hanging out in that hands of that thing. you that dumb uh, sloth eater you haven't figured it out yet well Cecilia set you up she's the one who gave you to me ask why Cecilia turns you in no idea none were the same dumb brute you were before I turned you uh, I'm going to enjoy hearing you squeal to uh, be a little bit more methodical about uh, going in there we do have a save that is relatively close here so we should be uh, should, we should be good but I'm thinking I should go back to where I kind of started and clear out that room of four or five guys that are there and uh, go from there make sure everything's all cleared out because these guys are gonna kind of come up my butt here <laughs> she has a uh, strong weapon, that's for sure. You see that just one shot me. I took like 80 of my health away, just poof. So she's going to be a fun one to get our uh, weapon away from. Um, do I, I, I think I'm going to have to uh, stop the episode there, call the episode, and we will have to uh, continue this on the next episode, because if I continue this, it's going to take me like another half an hour to an hour to finish. And,
Okay. So we'll take these uh, few out here. And we'll worry about uh, continuing the rest of these through here in a bit. I'm just going to get a bit of this health back. Get the whole thing and get some health back. I'm going to get some health back and kind of go back towards the entrance there because we did skip uh, skip some guys there. so. So they're just not going to let me eat them if they're still alive. Ooh, we got a golden ace right here. Wondrous Tome. Golden Ace of Spades. If you like the fact that we got the golden Ace of Spades, do hit the uh, subscribe button, like, follow, share, all that good stuff there. So we're going to go this way. This is where we were here. This is kind of where we... Ended up before we've cleared through here. I wonder if they'll be unknocked out if we come back through here. So we did get these jars and all this stuff. Um, so we're gonna just head back towards the entrance because we still have to go into this room that's my left here uh, and go into there. And that's as easy as just going through that door. But we're gonna just stop the episode here and we will continue in two. Horse Tail Grotto Deeper uh, on next episode there. Thanks for joining me for some more Weird West uh, where we're continuing the Pigman journey. Uh, and we are uh, have burned a couple of roots and we are partway through Horse Tail Grotto uh, by the time the end of this episode hit, hits. Um, if there is anything you saw you'd like to, give the video a thumbs up. If uh, you really like what you saw, uh, hit the subscribe button. However, reminding you until next time, take care of yourself, your friends, and your family. Take care.